This tutorial will help you get started with WS Desk and will walk you through essential settings of this amazing WordPress help desk system. Once you have installed and activated the extension, click on Agents Settings to get started. In this dashboard, you can create agent profiles that will handle your tickets. Click on Add button to add an agent or supervisor. You can select an existing WordPress user, or create a new user by entering respective user credentials. Next, you can assign either WS Desk Agent or WS Desk Supervisor user role for the user. You can notice the user rights of the respective WS Desk role. Customize the settings as you like, and save the settings. You can view a list of all WS Desk agents with their respective WS Desk role. Click on an agent name to view further details. You can edit the agent profile anytime in this way. Moving to the core settings of WS Desk. You can find that all the settings are categorized into different sections. The first setting under the general section, is to select a default assignee of the tickets. All tickets will be automatically assigned to the agent selected in this setting. Next, you can select a default ticket status that are assigned to tickets whenever they are raised. In the next setting, you can select the type of users who can raise the tickets. If you wish to redirect your guest users to create a WordPress user account after they have submitted a ticket successfully, enable the Create WordPress User setting. This could be a good way to persuade your guest users to sign up for an account on your website. Moving to Ticket Field Settings Using these input fields, users will be able to submit tickets on the support form. Click on Add Field to add a new ticket field. Select the desired input field. Enter title and other details. And save the changes. To enable a ticket field, click on Activate button. This is how the ticket fields will be displayed on the support form. You can edit a ticket field in this way. And to delete a ticket field, click on Delete icon. Next up, is the Ticket Status Settings. Using these status, agents can track progress of tickets. Each ticket status is differentiated by a distinctive color. You can click on Add Status to add a new ticket status. Enter Desire Status Title and select a color to represent the status. Next. You can choose to use this ticket status to filter tickets in the tickets dashboard. Finally, save the settings. Here's how you can view the filtered tickets of the newly created ticket status. The ticket tags are basically used to filter tickets, products, blog articles among other things. These tags can be used for filtering the tickets and assigning it to specific agents. You can add desired tags, select the blog articles that should be associated with the tag, and choose to use the tag for filtering. Lastly, click Save Changes. You can choose to assign tags to a ticket in this way. In the Ticket View section, you can customize the left section of the ticket's dashboard. You can activate an existing ticket view or add a custom one. Let us create a view for tickets that are received only through support form. First, enter a desired title. If you are using multiple conditions, you should select the required condition format. Next, from the condition list, select ticket source condition, and configure other settings to set up ticket source as support form. If you have additional condition setting, you can add in this way. Further, you can choose user roles to whom this ticket view will be made available. Once all settings are configured, save changes. Activate the ticket view, and move to the tickets dashboard to see the changes. Here's how you can get a custom view of tickets received through support form.
You can also change the appearance of the support form in the form settings. You can specify percentage for the width of the form elements. Set a custom title for main support form, new support form and existing tickets form. In like manner, you can specify desired title for submit button, reset button and the existing ticket request button. Finally, it's time to move to the tickets dashboard. The left section of the dashboard consists of the custom views created in the tickets view settings. The right section lists all the tickets. You can filter the tickets based on their ticket status in this way. To get a quick view of the ticket, click on the respective view icon of the ticket. You can see the last updated message, and can change the status of the ticket in this way. Click on a ticket to view the complete conversion between the agent and the customer. Additionally, you can assign this ticket to an agent and save the settings. An agent can reply to the ticket and update the ticket status. Moreover, if you have a number of tickets that require a similar reply, you can create reply template. You can specify a desired title for the template, and compose a template using the given short codes. You can move to reports dashboard to view the tickets analytics. You can see the number of tickets, agents report and the status analytics of the tickets of last 7 days. Select an agent to view to see a detailed ticket report of that agent. Now let's move to email settings. In the first section, you can configure support reply email settings. Enter name and email address which you wish to use for replying support emails. WS Desk provides an option to send an automated email to the customer, whenever a new ticket is raised. You can customize the email template by using the given short codes. You can also customize a template for agent reply email. In addition to this, you can configure Google Open Authentication. You can check this blog article for detailed instructions to set up. Similarly, to set up IMAP support, refer this article. The last setting will allow you to block specific emails. The import dashboard is used to import tickets from other support system. If you are currently using Zendesk, you can import all your tickets effortlessly. We have explained every step in detail, in this article. The link to all the articles is provided in the video description. You can also check our product documentation to understand each feature in detail. This should help you get going. If you have any query, don't hesitate to contact our support team. We will be happy to assist you.